printing with these Ender 2s. I got them pretty busy, and I got a third one coming tomorrow, because they're going to make all the parts for my rockets. So these are 13, 18, 24, and 29 millimeter motor mounts. One moment, I got to make sure that that thing actually gets a level print. It's good to go. But anyway, I printed this vase, and I want to show you guys this vase. I mean, it's a vase print, so of course it comes out nice, but this is beyond nice. This is to a new level of perfection. This printer is so good. I want to clean the lens off so you guys can really see this. Let me add a little more light to the room. First of all, this is 210 millimeters tall. I could have gone to 225 millimeters, but I didn't want to change the... I don't want to distort the perspective of the object. All the facets are visible. I thought it was a high resolution print, but this printer prints so nice, you can actually see the facets that exist in the actual mesh. The bottom layer is hard to focus on because it's that perfect. All three layers are perfect. Here's my fingers. There's not a single imperfection anywhere. I mean, not one. Here's all the way at the top of the z-axis. We are almost at the top and the layers are still perfect. I mean, absolutely precise. You can still see the facets. There's no ringing. There's no artifacts at all. This is mind-blowing how good this printer is. Boy, I would kill for an i3-based version of this. Just give me an 8x8x300 print volume with this kind of resolution. With this, and this is 0.2 millimeters. This is not like some crazy 100 mics or 50 mics. This is 200 microns, 0.2 millimeters. Look at that. I'm going to do this in a color too because this is hard to see in this um, white. Incredible. And that's from this $200 printer. As far as I'm concerned, if you need a beginner's printer and you don't need a huge print volume, this is the printer to get. I mean, for both beginners and people who already have printers, this thing is... <laughs> it's incredible. It, it, I can't believe $200 can get you this kind of precision and quality. And I love this vase, too. It's beautiful. Someone else pointed me to it, and I just thought it was really nice. Incredible. Let me show you some of the little parts I've done. So this is a 29mm motor retainer. What it is, is um, this part on sprues. Okay. So when you build a rocket, you can put this, you can, this screw-on part here. It's really hard to do one-handed. The screw on part here, you can um, you glue this onto the back side of your rocket. And um, this gets glued onto the back of the rocket, and then this, you put your motor in there, and then you thread this on top, and you have um, your motor retention. Well, I also did it in 24 millimeter, and I also did it in 18 millimeter. And I also did it in 13 millimeter. Now the 18 and 13 are at 100 mics. Okay, you can see a close up of the threads on that thing while I unscrew this for you. I only got 40 seconds left before I hit my 4K. Oh no, this got this doesn't have a 4K limit. Just um gigabytes. Look at that. I'm actually running into strength limitations of the PLA itself. That's incredible. And that came off this printer. Come on, focus. OK. 
Come on. There you go. Look at that. I just can't get over that this $200 printer can do this. And I'm doing a hot air balloon now. That's a single perimeter. That's all that's holding it onto that bed, and it'll hold just fine. So that'll be the balloon, and then this will be the basket. I just thought it was a pretty model. And sneak peek on the ANET E10, I'm doing that really cool birdhouse at 100% scale by doing it in two parts. So here's the bottom. <laughs> More on that later. And this is the top. This will be my first 60, 65 hour print on the ANET E10. That part there took over, it took 24 hours, and this part here should take about 45, 50 hours. But yeah, this, <laughs> this printer is, it's phenomenal, and the volume is bigger than the directions say. You can get about 152 deep, about 160, I think, wide, and 225 tall. So you can actually eke out a little more than you think from it. And here's a nose cone that I printed on it. The uh, molting you see is in the model. That is not indicative of the printer. This printer prints so well that I'm going to redesign this nose cone with more polygons just so it'll look cleaner when I print it. <laughs> Incredible. Th this printer is... It's a must-buy. There's no question about it. It's an absolute must-buy. It's, 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 it's incredible. Um, more to come.